and welcome back to another product review. This is for the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser with Fab Antioxidant Booster. It removes surface oils, makeup, dirt, and grime. It's safe for sensitive skin. Uh, this is a sample size. It's only one ounce. They don't even sell this on their website. I just got this from Ipsy. I actually have two of it from Ipsy. Um, the smallest size they sell on their site is two ounces. They also have a five ounce and an eight ounce size. Honestly, I feel like the biggest one you get the most bang for your buck, but we'll get to that. So this one, I, I don't think there's like any proper pricing info because they don't sell this. Uh, but anyways, um, let's see here. Allergy tested, fragrance free. Uh, the directions are just dampen the face and delicately massage a small portion of the cleanser into all zones of the face. Remove with soft washcloth or a splash of water. I needed the washcloth, just splashing with water didn't get it all off for me. So then on the website it says it's for skin types balanced, dry, oily, and combination. So basically for everybody. Um, it has solutions for dryness and redness, both of which are good for me. Uh, it's free from alcohol, artificial colorants, artificial fragrance, lanolin, mineral oil, parabens, petrolatum, phthalates, propylene glycol, sulfates, talc, formaldehyde, oxybenzone, coal tar, hydroquinone, trichlor trichlocarbon, ethanol, ethyl alcohol, denatured alcohol, methanol, and butyl alcohol, isopropyl alcohol, or SD alcohol. Those are things it's free from, those aren't the ingredients. Um, the need to know section is it's allergy tested, gluten free, nut free, oil free, soy free, suitable for sensitive skin, vegan, and nano free. I don't even know what that last one means, but apparently it's a good thing. Um, and then what it says about it is it's a fragrance free, gentle cleanser that effectively removes makeup, dry <laughs> makeup dirt and grime, leaving skin soft and supple. The whipped texture transforms into a sumptuous cream when blended with water. Uh, infused with a powerful botanical antioxidant blend, it helps safeguard skin against environmental aggressors while also calming irritated skin. This non-stripping pH balance formula works to maintain skin's natural acidity and helps reduce flare-ups, never leaving skin feeling tight or dry. So, its key ingredients are aloe, which helps calm, soothe, and nourish the skin, Allantoin, which helps calm and soothe the skin, glycerin, which is a natural humectant that helps hydrate and smooth skin's appearance, and the Fab Antioxidant Booster, which helps stave off in environmental aggressors with licorice root, feverfew, and white tea extracts. The full ingredients list, let's see. Yeah, we don't need to read that. You can go to their website and look it up. It's too long of a list, but um, it looks pretty decent, actually. See if there's anything else really to say. Okay, so price wise, the two ounce size is $11. That's kind of a lot for two ounces. Um, that's like twice the size of this. That's still a lot. Uh, five ounces is, let's see here, $21. And then the eight ounce size is. $32. So if you do it by the numbers, actually you do get the best value for your money at the 8 ounce size, and it only it takes a tiny little bit of this to wash your whole face. So that 8 ounce size would last you such a long time. Uh, so I would personally recommend doing that. I think if I end up buying this after I use up both of my sample size tubes of it and I still want more, I will probably go that route just because th you get the best value. Now my thoughts on this. I really, really liked this. Um, my only issue was the scent. Yes, it's unscented, but it does have a little bit of an odor. Not a terrible one, but... Yeah, it's, um... How would I even describe that? I don't really know how to describe that scent. It's just... It's not bad, bad, but at the same time, I'm like, it, it does have a little bit of wonkiness there and some of the reviews I've seen people said they couldn't hang with it now I'm pretty sensitive to smells and scents and things uh, it was not a deal breaker for me it was just sort of an oh that's odd kind of level and then went about washing my face with it and that was that didn't really give it another thought so I mean I might dock off like a point 
out of my scoring for it, but other than that, uh, it really wasn't that big of a deal to me. Now, everything else about it, on the other hand, was lovely. I mean, I tried with just a tiny little bit of it on my fingers and rubbed it over my whole face. I don't think I even needed to top that up to cover my whole face, and it lathered up, like, surprisingly well. Usually with face cleansers, I notice that they kind of just stay like a gel a lot of times, and there might be like a little bit of suds, but for the most part it doesn't really lather. This lathered, and I was like, whoa, that's kind of surprising. I like it. And then I went into it with an open mind and with literally zero expectations, figuring if it doesn't work, no harm, no foul. If it does, I'll be pleasantly surprised. So when I rinsed it off and everything and dried my face, I was actually pretty shocked. Usually, no matter what I put on my face, no matter what I clean it with, no matter what I moisturize it with, I mean, it can get softer. Sorry, there's a lot of static in the air. Um, it may get softer, but it's usually never like soft, soft. Like my mom uses all sorts of facial things and she's like, oh my God, feel how soft my skin is. It feels like a baby. And I'm like, how are you doing that? And you're like twice my age and I can't even do it a little bit. And it always just, it confuses me. But then I used this and I was like, oh my god, it did the thing. I have soft skin on my face. I have the baby skin on my face. I mean, that sounds so dumb to be excited over and so dumb that I actually found something that managed to do that. And I have tried a lot, a lot of different products on my face. So to say that this is actually the first one that really, really did the job for that speaks volumes. And sure enough, even with my sensitive skin, it didn't break it out, it didn't make it red, it didn't burn or anything. There was a very, 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 very slight tingly feeling, but I found that to be just refreshing. I didn't think that was a bad thing or anything. Other people, they feel like the tiniest hint of anything and they freak out and they're like, nope, don't want to use that. And I'm like, I just take that as a sign that it's working, but that's just me. So I don't know. I really liked this one. Let me answer this real quick, guys. But um, yeah, I took it as a sign of that. And then more surprisingly, Days later, I mean, I had only used it the one time at that point. Days later, I'm touching my face, I'm like, it still feels really soft from that one time with it. That is freaking incredible. There's no rough, scratchy beads in it or anything, or abrasiveness to it. It's just like a creamy lather, and yet it feels like it does stuff that the most abrasive of exfoliants can't manage to do with my skin. My mind is blown, and that is why I'm like, normally I would go 32 bucks for a face cleanser, are you out of your fucking mind? But this one, you know what? I am actually highly considering throwing that money at it when I use these up, if I'm still having this great luck with it. But again, if it stops working for me at some point between point A and point B, I won't bother. But if it keeps working, I'm like, dude, I have a new favorite. <laughs> I have a new freaking favorite, and who knew? Something that, I mean, I've gotten stuff from this brand in Ipsy before, and I mean, they've been okay, but I never quite understood why everybody acts like it's the be-all and end-all of everything. Let's see, hold on. But anyways, um, but this one made me a believer in this brand because I had tried that red clay mask cleanser once from them and it was okay, but I didn't feel like it really did that much for me. Maybe I should revisit it one of these days because I think I still have it, but this one, very first try, and like I said, I didn't even use very much. That's all I was like, really? This? But I mean, so many people talk about this brand like... It's their secret weapon, and now I'm like, well, shit, I kind of see what you're talking about now, at least when it comes to this one. Um, I haven't really tried a whole lot of things from this brand, just the ones that I've gotten from Ipsy before, but man, this kind of makes me want to save up and splurge on this brand just to try other things in the future, maybe. I don't know, but at least this one in a bigger size, I think I might 
invest in one of these days. Plus, their website says that any order, I don't think it shows like a minimum order amount, comes with four free samples. So, hey, there's more to try right there too. So, I don't know. It sounds pretty good. I think for me, like I said, I would rate this a four out of five. Um, the only thing is just not even that it's unscented, because that actually can be better for a lot of people. But I mean, the fact that it's unscented, but kind of has a little bit of an off smell to it. Um, I'm not wild about that part, but it's also definitely not bad enough to be a deal breaker for me. Because if it were bad enough to be a deal breaker, I'd probably just give this away and never touch it again. But no, it's not that bad. Not that bad at all. So those are my thoughts on it. I highly recommend it. I bet any of you that would try this would find that you have very good luck with your skin with it. I would be surprised if you didn't, actually. So, uh, that is about all I have to say for this one. I really like it. I really, truly recommend it to you guys. Um, and that is about it. So, as usual, you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Uh, have you tried this before? In any size, it doesn't matter, it's still the same product. Uh, let me know your thoughts, your opinions, your experiences with it, anything at all about that or anything else, leave it down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more, it's all down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway, guys, until next time, bye-bye.